Hello everyone, Pinda Productions here and today we are going to be starting a new series of trying to improve the performance of this Windows 8 HP Pavilion G6 laptop. Now to do this we are going to be doing a variety of things throughout this series, uh, going over different operating systems and tweaking games so hopefully we can improve the performance of this laptop not just for gaming but for everyday use as it isn't the most powerful. The specs this laptop has an AMD Vision E2 1800 APU processor with Radeon HD graphics clocked at 1.7 GHz. It also has 6 GB of RAM and Windows 8 so it's not very powerful and as you can see from taking a look at the task manager after turning this laptop on so nothing has been opened we can get anywhere from between a 100% CPU utilization and about 10 really uh, quite rare to see it at as low as 10 because after you've used a few couple of programs maybe done some web browsing in Chrome then it will go back up to something like 80 to 99 percent after you close down the programs so it's not a very efficient processor and so if we take a look at some web browsing here you can see I am searching in for my YouTube channel youtube.com slash pin productions and from pressing enter we will time how long it takes to load up the YouTube channel the web page and then start playing the video which is my PUBG mobile video at the moment so we are watching it load uh, still loading still loading this is in real time by the way so no editing speeding up or slowing it down this is real time 21 22 23 seconds it's still it's still loading still loading almost and okay it's playing so about 29 seconds there that it took to really get through loading that video so as you can see it is quite a slow machine with web browsing and so here you can see a test of document editing in Google Docs. Uh, main reason I'm using this is because it's free and I no longer have Office Word installed on this machine. So it does work for word processing, however sometimes when typing some documents in Microsoft Word I have had lag while typing so it really isn't a very powerful machine for that. In addition, at idle it sounds like this. So now let's go on to some gameplay of Rocket League at the minimum settings. All the gameplay in this video was recorded using an external capture card from the HDMI output and as you can see on minimum settings the game really doesn't look very good and it still is very slow. We averaged about 15 FPS in Rocket League so nothing exceptional and it did feel slow that's why I'm playing an offline game against bots. I was able to score a few goals so that was nice but it wasn't anything amazing or spectacular and not really the sort of playable performance that I would look for. I'd hope for around 30 FPS or well at least above 20 but an average of 15 just isn't good enough for this game. And now we go to the Fortnite Battle Royale game mode again on the lowest settings available and this really was not playable. As you can see here you can barely make out the details of the building, I mean there aren't any details from a distance it's such low resolution and textures and it just doesn't work very well, we're getting an average of about 10 FPS and I cannot even uh, fight people in this game, it's so bad to play, really not playable and I do not recommend playing Fortnite on a device this low power really, it runs on a lot but it definitely doesn't run on this device in addition to that, the game crashed, so it really doesn't run very well. So let's take a look at some low spec gamer tutorials for improving performance below the minimum spec requirements and see if that helps us game on this laptop. And now we go back to Rocket League against the bots in the exact same arena to be as close of a comparison as possible between the before and after low spec gamer tutorials. It's such a better time. Obviously, the visuals are a lot worse uh, we have lowered the internal resolution from 55 to 35 but we are getting about an average of 25 fps so it's actually playable at this frame rate i would say if you are planning on running 
Rocket League on a laptop with the same APU as this, then you can do it with the help of a low spec gaming tutorial. I will have left a card on screen to their channel and I'll probably also leave a link in the description to the two tutorials I used to improve the performance as it is really useful to do and it runs so much better than before so I am very happy that it does run with the help of some tweaking game files. And now we return to Fortnite after completing the low spec gaming tutorial on improving the performance and while we are at times getting high teens, low twenties, the gameplay itself isn't very good as we can't even go into a building to get the loot as every time I do go near a building it starts lagging and I start falling through the map so it's not very good and I mean I can't even fight anyone so while the frame rate is a lot higher the actual gameplay hasn't really improved so I do not recommend playing Fortnite on a computer like this one. Thank you for watching the video, I do hope you enjoyed it and found it informative or useful. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell, apparently you have to do that now as well, to see more uploads of this series as I continue to try and improve the performance of this laptop using different operating systems such as Linux and Android to see if they are any better in either gaming or in general use via web browsing. Bye.